Hello dear students, uh, in the last class I have explained with you about the water harvesting, uh, the history and uh, some of the main uh, principles of the water harvesting. Now I am going to explain you about the techniques which are involved in the water harvesting. Uh, some of the main important techniques uh, among the one is the contour farming. Contour farming it refers to uh, field activities uh, such as flowing and uh, furrowing that are uh, carried out along the contours rather than uh, up and down slopes. They conserve the more water by reducing the surface runoff and uh, encouraging the infiltration of water into the crop area. Contour farming it is a uh, sustainable way of the farming where uh, farmers plant crops across or perpendicular to the slopes. The, this arrangements of the plants uh, break up the flow of water and makes it harder for a soil erosion to the occur, which conserves uh, the soil erosion as well as uh, which gives the more water to the uh, plants or the crops instead of the runoff. Water harvesting techniques are classified based on the along the contours, uh, including uh, contour flowing, uh, contour ridges bench terrace, grass strips, stone lines, retention ditches and many more. Uh, the technique used uh, depends on the steepness of the slope, soil type, conditions which crops can grow and other factors such as the availability of the layer, the topography, lithology of that area and as well as the climatic conditions. Among that, the first is uh, contour flowing. Ideally, any flowing on a slope should be carried out along the contours rather than uh, up and down. As this, we all know that reduce the runoff and uh, soil erosions and increase the moisture retentions. Contour flowing can be practiced on any slope with a gradient less than 10%. And on steeper slopes, it should be combined with other measures uh, such as uh, terracing, bunts or a st strip crop, uh, stripe cropping. It is not always uh, carried out in practice because the shape and topography of the field may be considered a more important factor in determining the direction of the flowing. Summary, I have shown you the contour flowing the slope should be and soil uh, on what amount of the rainfall we can do like this ground, labors and crops. This is contour for us. It is the second technique in uh, contour forming. Uh, contour for us are small earthen banks that run along the contours, which runs along the contours. A furrow is dug next to each bank on the upper side of the slopes. The aim of the contour furrow is to concentrate moisture into the ridge and furrow area where the crops are planted by trapping runoff water from the catchment area between them. This also decreases the risk of the erosions. And I have shown in, in the diagrams the uh, furrow and uh, ridges. And the furrow majorly uh, drought uh, sensitive plants uh, on the sides of the furrows are grown not only in the uh, sensitive plants some of the types of the based on the cropping techniques like uh, banana crops and uh, areca plants are so grown in an uh, furrow it is a crop technique and usually in the red sides draw highly drought resistant plants on the reds uh, are uh, planted uh, in the furrow areas the water the runoff water is more collected and also which will give the uh, nutrients and water to the uh, ridge areas, roots plants. The distance between uh, the ridge varies between uh, 1 to 2 meter uh, depending on the rainfall and the slopes. Next is the bench terraces. Uh, terraces are made by creating uh, ridges and uh, furrows along the contours on the slopes. The ridge hold back water 
and uh, soil runoff and eventually turn the hillside into a number of the terraces this can be stabilized by planting grasses or shrubs on this on them generally uh, in the western ghats uh, uh, the sl slope is high and uh, they have not uh, been practicing any this kind of the uh, slow factor techniques uh, uh, they have dependent on some of the crops so like uh, coffee and uh, rubber plantations so they are growing they are not doing any this kind of the techniques those are uh, uh, high tall trees uh, which uh, prevents the soil erosions which conserves the waters <coughs> but in the case of the seasonal crops uh, like uh, uh, paddy or the maize or the grass or any grass or shrubs uh, to reduce the soil runoff and uh, uh, water runoff uh, we need to do these kinds of the practices uh, terraces are formed by digging a ditch along a contours and uh, throwing the earth either uphill or downhill to form a ridge water is stored behind the ridge uh, if the earth is thrown uphill the terraces are uh, suitable for steep slopes uh, with a gradient of uh, 30 to 55 percent grass strips grass strips are most uh, likely to be used in the areas uh, where fodder or uh, fodder or uh, mulch is also needed uh, strips of the grass planted along the contours can reduce the soil erosion and runoff and which grows up to the 1 meter uh, wide mm, silt builds up in front of the strip and over time benches are deformed on gentle slopes uh, the strip should be widely spaced uh, 20 to 30 meter apart and on steeper slopes narrowly spaced 10 to 15 meter apart and uh, the maintenance is grass need to be trimmed regularly uh, to prevent it competing with the crops uh, many grass varieties can be used depending on what is locally available next is about the stone lines uh, this is the common method uh, majorly used in uh, arid regions <coughs> stone lines running along the contours are one of the simplest contour technique uh, to design and uh, construct the lines of stones form a semi permeable barriers uh, that slows the speed of the run up that completely not prevent which slows uh, they are uh, semi permeable uh, that slows the speed of the runoff uh, so that spread the spread of the waters over the field and infiltration is increased and definitely the soil erosion is reduced uh, the lines are constructed by making a shallow foundations trench along the contours uh, larger stones are then put on the down slope side of this trench smaller stones are used to build the rest of the bond the stone lines can be reinforced with the earth or crops residues to make them more stable and uh, this is most stable uh, on a gentle slope 0.5 to 3 percent in areas with the annual rainfall of uh, 350 to 7 millimeter this is uh, the retention ditches majorly it is used for to grow uh, the banana crops and uh, ananas crops retention ditches work on a similar principles to the contour furrows but on a large scales they are uh, large ditches designed to catch and uh, retain all incoming runoff and hold it until it infiltrates into the ground and uh, which increasing the supply of the water to the crop planted in the ditch are reducing the soil erosions uh, they vary from 0.3 to the 0.6 meter deep uh, and 0.5 to 1 meter wide. Uh, they are usually used on a flat land uh, where they may be spaced at 20 meter on uh, gentle slopes where the spacing can be decreased to 10 to 15 meter. Uh, when constructing the ditches, uh, the soil is thrown to the lower side 
to form an embankment that prevents soil from falling back in. Uh, these structures uh, can be stabilized further by planting grass on it uh, or uh, by uh, putting some stones uh, on that. Um, on soils with a lower infiltration rate or on slopes, the ends can be left open to allow excess water to drain out. We have seen some of these uh, techniques which are involved in uh, contour forming. Next is about the planting uh, pits. Planting pits are a very simple form of the <coughs> uh, freestanding water harvesting structures uh, that are easy to the construct. Uh, they consist of uh, small pits in which individual or a small group of plants are uh, shown. Uh, uh, usually that uh, Uh, the pits uh, ca catch runoff and concentrate soil moisture around the roots. Uh, usually, uh, pomegranates uh, can be grown like this. Normally, the pits are 10 to 30 centimeter in diameter and 5 to 15 centimeter deep and are spaced about uh, 1 meter apart, successfully in areas of the <coughs> uh, low rainfall. This is the planting pits. Uh, it is uh, particularly successful in the in the areas of the low rainfall and are uh, suitable for crops with low water demand uh, such as sorghum or the millet and uh, they are more suitable for heavier clay soils which uh, tend to form a cap and have poor uh, infiltrations uh, as digging the pit reduces the depth of the soil they are not suitable for the shallower soils uh, they are only unsuitable for the gentle slopes, less than 2% uh, of gradient. Earth basins. Earth basins are designed to collect and hold rainfall waters and uh, easy to construct by hand, by manpower is needed. Uh, they are square or diamond shaped basins with earth ridges on all sides. Runoff water is uh, channeled. Uh, to the lowest point and stored in an uh, infiltration pit. The lower point of the basin might be located in uh, one of the corner on sloping land or in the middle, the flat land. Earth basins are usually uh, used for the fruit crops and the seeding is planted in or on the other side of the infiltration pit. Usually uh, the size of the basin depends on the local uh, rainfall and uh, the water requirements of the trees. Uh, they are larger on flat land and uh, smaller on the sloping land. <coughs> you can observe in the peak. Uh, in the corner uh, they have grown uh, usually uh, aloe vera crops or some of the other fruiting plants they use to this kind of the structures. Semicircular burns. Semicircular burns are uh, uh, earth burns uh, formed U shaped on a slope. Mm, the uppermost uh, tips of the U lie on a contour so that uh, runoff is collected in the lowest uh, section of the U. A shallow pit is uh, sometimes also dug in this section to help concentrate moisture. Uh, their size varies from a small structure small structure uh, used for the fruit trees or uh, seedlings to very large structure used for uh, uh, wrangled rehabilitation of the fodder productions arc like structures these are the techniques which are in a uh, contour forming water harvesting technique thank you